Okay, we are on day seven of our 12 days of wellness, and today we have a sleep hack for you. Are you ready for this? This is something that I'm going to show you on my computer here. Um, how many of you have one of these, right? A phone. Well, that's not the actual sleep hack that I'm going to show you, but I just want to show you this real quick. If you use a Fitbit or some kind of Apple Watch, usually the even the free service will help you see your sleep cycles. So every night, all of us have a sleep cycle, right? And there's three different types of sleep we get. We get light sleep, REM sleep, that's our dream sleep, and we get this deep sleep. And each one of those cycles um, does something different for, from us. So if we look at the other day, my sleep cycle, okay, I... Usually the beginning of your night's sleep, you go into this deep sleep. And this was a day where I had some good exercise. So I always get better deep sleep when I exercise. I had a good amount of light sleep. That's when your body really gets refreshed. I had some REM sleep. And then I had periods where I was awake. Okay. Now this is a, a tool that you can use just to understand sleep. But the tool I want to talk to you about is this. It's called Sleepy Time, and the address is sleepyti.me, sleepytime, and I want to show you. It's just a very simple website. I learned this from a homeschool mentor, and this is what it does. If you want to wake up refreshed, we really need to be utilizing what we know about those sleep cycles and how your body needs a good, you know, five to six sleep cycles, okay? So if I have to wake up at a certain time, let's say I need to wake up at 6.30 a.m., okay? So I'm going to calculate that. Oh, that's not working. Okay, well, let's say I plan to fall asleep at... Let's calculate this. Oh, of course it doesn't want to work. Okay, so let's say I plan to fall asleep at 10.30 p.m. Okay. So here it shows me if I fall asleep at 10.30 p.m., I should try to wake up at one of the following times. Obviously, I don't want to wake up at 12 or 1.30, right? or really even three or four, if because a good night's sleep consists of five to six complete sleep cycles. So here's one, This and sleep cycle is like 90 minutes. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six a.m. or 7.30 a.m. Have you ever, and I've been doing this recently because I've been getting some good sleep, my alarm will go off and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so tired, but I had seven hours sleep, I had eight hours sleep, is because you're in between a sleep cycle. So this little hack, I think, is really useful. Let's see, we can calculate again. If you go to bed now, you should wake up. So if I were to go to bed, it's, it's 7.20 here, right? You can even do this like uh, when you... Um, well, that's not working either. Okay, well maybe we might have to have another website to give us some of these sleep cycles because this doesn't seem like it's falling. But if you plan to fall asleep, again, let's say you're a person who always goes to bed at midnight. Okay, you stay up till midnight. Calculate, okay. So again, you can see the sleep cycles. One, two, three, four, five. 7.30 really is the earliest if you want to get a good night's sleep that consists of five to six complete um, sleep cycles, right? Or even 9 a.m. Some people say, well, I need nine hours sleep. I need eight hours sleep. I think it's more about how many sleep cycles your body needs and your body really needs five to six. Some people say they need nine hours of sleep is because they're maybe having interrupted sleep, right? They're having, let's go back to this. They're having some of these wake cycles. You can see I was awake here for 12 minutes. I went into light sleep and then another 13. I probably was awake this whole time, so like 30 minutes, right? So I was having interrupted 
sleep cycles. So this is just kind of a neat tool. If you have a Fitbit or some kind of Apple Watch, it is helpful to see. I don't know if they are absolutely fully accurate, but um, it's good to see, you know, how your body, and you can study, you can, you know, uh, not on here, but on your phone, you can click on, you know, deep and understand what deep sleep is. You can sleep, click on REM and see the importance of REM sleep, especially to our patients, mama. We need to have that good REM sleep and light sleep. But if we really want to rest our muscles and uh, just feel very alert the next day than having a lot of good deep sleep. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you'll check out this a little bit broken website, um, sleepy, T-I-M-dot-M-E. Check that out, sleepy, T-I-M-E. And I hope this wellness tip helps you get better night's sleep. Talk to you later. Bye.